Hey, I just wanted to sh tell you uh, a few things about the Hobby King FPV or EPP FPV and the Skywalker. Quick comparison between the two. Um, you know, they're both they're both good planes. Uh, the the Hobby King airplane. Uh, there's a few things, little tricks that you can do to it to make it a lot better airplane. One is enlarging the tail, the other is dihedral. Um, it's a lot slower flying airplane than the Skywalker. Um, requires a little more power to push it. Um, but as long as you keep the speed down and you don't fly in a lot of wind, it's actually a fairly decent plane. Uh, it'll pack a pretty good payload it's got lots of wing area uh, right now I've got a can uh, Sony Webby on the nose my uh, 900 megahertz uh, receiver was damaged in the, the crash and I haven't uh, got a new one yet but uh, it's uh, the airplane itself is it's super durable this uh, EPP is basically indestructible and the Skywalker well now it's a lot more sleek it's a faster airplane uh, it's got more cargo room interior cargo room and it uh, it's a lot easier to set up originally because the fuse comes in two halves wasn't sure about that when I first seen it but uh, you can lay your wires all out and glue it together and it just makes for a nice in installation. Um, two drawbacks, uh, I think. The tail's a little weak. Um, I've had one minor crash with it and one other time I just caught the tail a bit and I've actually cracked the tail twice right here. It glued back together. I just used hot glue and the glue joints are nice and strong and you know it's broke both times in different spots so it wasn't the glue let and go. Thought about reinforcing it but then I thought well if it's that's the breakaway point that's it's better to break there than break somewhere else I guess so maybe it was designed that way. The wing uh, is um, a little weak. Uh, I really don't think there's enough carbon fiber in it. Um, the center section is plenty strong. Uh, from here out is questionable. There's another piece of carbon fiber in here. It's tiny. I don't know what it is. Maybe three mil, four mil, something like that. It's not very big and um, I've actually in that crash that I had uh, broke this wing completely off right here so I replaced the carbon fiber glued the wing back on got it all lined up everything's great uh, and I decided to take this reinforced packing tape like I've put here just for the elastic bands and stuff to make it a little last a little longer uh, I've put about four strips underneath and that's made a big difference. Um, the way it comes out of the box, I think if you were in, not that you're supposed to put this airplane in any, any kind of a dive, but if you were in a fairly steep dive for any particular reason and pulled up, uh, I'm pretty sure you lose a wing the outer part of one side or the other or both it, it really is a bit on the weak side but again um, you're not buying a thousand dollar model it's a uh, hundred bucks so you get what you pay for I'm not criticizing the airplane I like it it flies well it's 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 a good FPV plane uh, it just needs a little more reinforcing I think just the packing tape is probably all you really need to put on there um, adds it's 
still has the flex, but it adds some st strength because that stuff is basically unbreakable and it's trying to stretch it. So um, I do like having the uh, transmitter back here on the tail. Keeps it out of harm's way, uh, opposed to up on the nose. So, just a few pros and cons of each one. They're both they're both good planes uh, for their money. The Skywalker is a little bit more money uh, than the Hobby King. It's more refined looking, um, flies better in the wind. It's faster. Uh, more cargo space, da, da da da. The Hobby King is a little more, uh, you, you know, industrial looking. <laughs> it's it's a heavy duty with lots of side area and big old wings and stuff. So it's it's not, it's not designed to fly fast. If you want to push this thing much over 25 miles an hour, you're just wasting power with it. So. Um, it doesn't like a lot of wind, but on a calmer day, and if you're not wanting to go too fast, uh, especially with my dihedral modification and larger tail, it actually is a quite easy airplane to fly. It's it's um, nice to land. It's easy to launch. Um, Sixty-nine bucks. I don't know. Pretty hard to beat. Um, I've had no problems with the tail on the Hobby King plane. It's hit a few snow banks in the winter and stuff that uh, I thought were going to take it off for sure and and it's still 100%. There is a, a little foam skid underneath the bottom of it uh, so maybe that helped. But anyways, quick comparison, two airplanes, two good airplanes, uh, I'm not critical of either one, they both have minor things that can you can do to them to make them better airplanes that really don't cost any money uh, just a little bit of time so that's it